forever trying to figure out if my camera's focused or if I just can't see without my glasses on. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or hello if you are new. I'm Anna May. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some of my July favourites. This month has been a pretty quiet month for me. Uh, it's not quite the end of July yet but I got back from living in New York at like mid-June and I've just kind of been taking it easy. My friend was around for a bit which was fun and uh, I went on a family holiday and then coming up I'm filming this a little early. Uh, my 11 year old twin boy cousins are coming for a couple days so fasten your seatbelt. Uh, but this is all of the stuff that I've been really loving in the last couple of weeks. Yeah, I felt like I hadn't done one of these in a while. And these are all real standout favorites. So I have like two pants, which is weird, two bags and like a makeup and a face thing. So we'll do like makeup clothes bags. So makeup is only one of them is makeup. The makeup that I want to share with you is from Colourpop. I tried Colourpop because I lived really like dangerously close to an Ulta that stocked Colourpop. I'm on this train. I would, oh, their new collection, those, oh, you know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna start the image here. I think they ship internationally but there's always that fear of like taxes and charges and stuff over here. Um, but this is, I'll get to what the product actually is, it's a Super Shock Cheek in prenup. It does, I believe their stuff is kind of silicone-y and that can be a problem for acne prone skin. I don't know if, if the light is being forgiving or not but I have adult acne which is great. Uh, but I've actually had acne since I was 14. It's nowhere near as bad as it used to be and Silicone is always one thing with enlarged pores, they typically tell you to stay away from. But this is over makeup. I put this on after foundation, before powder, and honestly I just love it. I love how pink it is. Um, I would open it and show it to you, but it doesn't look so cute now. And I just apply it with my middle finger or my ring finger, uh, just gently. And I bring it, sometimes I'll bring it across the bridge of my nose as well, um, just to bring a bit more brightness to my face. Uh, but yeah, I really, really like this. As I said, it's in the color prenup, and I would definitely consider getting more of these. It's definitely, I don't know how bright prenup looks online, but it's definitely more muted than I think I thought. Cause I think I thought. Um, I do like bright blushes and I know some people don't like blush at all but I do. Also Colourpop stuff is really inexpensive and I haven't yet had a bad product so more Colourpop for me. The other like face favourite are my Ray-Bans. I got these maybe two years ago. You know there's little things that you'll hang on to that you just don't understand. I don't really understand how people have like sunglasses collections. I know it's a big thing for some people uh, if you live in a really sunny climate I think I could understand. But I own one pair of sunglasses. I decided I was gonna get one pair of really nice sunglasses, don't lose them, and you know, get plastic all up in that ocean and just take care of them. So these are the Ray-Ban Erica style, and obviously they're in tortoise shell because it me. Um, and they are, it looks so funny looking at the camera with these on. Um, but they are good for people with little round chubby faces. I did however try on another style of Ray-Bans and I am strongly considering getting them because they're lighter in colour. They're more of a, they're like a metal frame and the lenses are lighter so they'd be really good for driving. Those are a little bit dark for driving but I wore these a lot on holidays because I don't know if you know this, you can get like freckles in your eyes, google it, uh, you can get sun damage in your eyes. It's not just a, it's easier when you wear sunglasses, it's actually like a sun safety thing. Um, my mom always wears sunglasses, it's more of a fashion thing and she has very sensitive eyes because we, in my family, we all have pretty light coloured eyes. And um, she got an eye test a couple years ago and the optician or optometrist or op I don't know which one it was uh, and she was looking at her eyes and she goes whoa you've no freckles on your eyes are you very few you must be really good at wearing sunglasses and protecting your eyes in the sun she's like oh my god yeah I am so I learned about that now I always tell people so wear sunglasses folks so the two clothing items I have one is Lily one is denim so I got these gorgeous Lily Pulitzer shorts in the after party sale in January when I was over in the States um, because I was actually able to shop there and I love Lily Pulitzer if you're new here big preppy gal I also just want to take the time to mention that I find Lily Pulitzer sizing really inconsistent and it's very frustrating for someone who 
pretty much always has to buy online. Uh, but these are an 8 and I actually, I can't remember what the inseam was, they were a really good deal so I got them anyways and I took them up. Uh, actually I took up one leg, my mom took up the other leg, thanks mom. And these were so, so great because although I'm more of a skirt and dress girl I needed a break from that, I needed shorts because cute story, just girly things, I ended up getting a photo allergic contact dermatitis, is that what it is? Basically from sunscreen and the sun mixed together on my skin I had like contact dermatitis slash maybe a really really mild allergic reaction um, all over my arms, stomach and thighs so just girly things um, but we're good now I'll give you all the remedies for that in another time if you want it but those shorts really came in handy and they're just so cute it's like a little loose I wore them on Instagram I'll insert the photo here follow me on Instagram at anime.yt uh, and I wore them like a black linen top or also with a um, white tank top love it the other favorite I can't show you because I'm currently wearing them are these pants and they look really weird and short right now when I just did that but they are kind of high up on your ankle crop flares which sounds like heh but they're from Madewell I promise they're really cute I was so lucky to get them on a pretty major sale uh, it was on the sale rack and then there was an extra 40% off sale and I was like thank you because I really wanted a pair like this I got them just before I left actually and I don't know if I've worn them on Instagram that much in the way that you can see them maybe I'll post a picture of that if not I'll insert a photo here of me wearing them um, they're kind of hard to photograph but man they're so comfortable they're kind of high-waisted not quite high-waisted enough on me because my waist is very high even though I have a short torso but they have a button fly which doesn't bother me they button just the whole way up and they're super stretchy and super comfortable I really wanted a pair of jeans like this and they're amazing and they're so fun in summery especially for Ireland where it can be a bit more chilly so they look cute with sandals and you know little platformy shoes and even like my Rothy's or Superga's or things like that they look good with like all my summer shoes and then you could wear a sweatshirt or you could wear a pretty top to pair with it uh, just really works and surprisingly looks good on a short person because I'm only 5'2 so I'll link a similar style below and you'll see it in these pictures my stomach is grumbling <laughs> love these pants they're so comfortable and such a summer staple. I'm so, so glad I purchased them. So as I said, my last two favorites are bags. And one's like cute bag, one is practical bag. So we'll do the cute bag first. And it is this bag that I talked about on Instagram a while ago because I bought it last summer and I used it a bit last summer, but coming into this summer, it's just been, this is the bag I carry all the time. Um, I am vegetarian and this is leather, shoot me. Uh, but it is from Mara's in Tarmina, which is in Sicily. Uh, it's a really nice leather shop. I've tagged them on Instagram before, so you can find them there. Uh, but it's full of stuff right now, so maybe I won't open it. But it's kind of like three layers, you can see like that, like three compartments. And it has magnetic closure. It's obviously like a platinum, so it goes perfect with my Jack Rogers. And even though it's not like match your bags, bag to your shoes, it just... Kind of ties it together a small bit. It has this little top handle with my battery cut out but we're back. This bag has a really cute top handle which is completely attached and then there is a removable long strap and I kind of keep it on most of the time even though I do prefer to carry it by the small handle because I like little bags like this. I'm putting them on my arm because as I said before I'm kind of short. I always think that kind of works better. And the last favourite I want to share is my North Face backpack. This is the Jester and I know the Borealis is a really nice style as well but this was the one that they had in the like outdoor shop in my town in black so a couple years ago when I got this. Uh, so that's why I went with this style honestly. Um, I have a under seat cabin luggage thing on from just travelling but it's kind of dark, it's hard to see it. Uh, it has like strings here the elastic at the front that you can put in like a raincoat or even a water bottle. I've used it for that before. And it just has so many pockets in the inside. Um, I'll open it up. You've got your two, like your open one here, your zipper here, and then pen stuff. And I have like obviously lip gloss in it because it's me. Um, and you can fit so much stuff in here. And then the back 
pocket also has a laptop pouch so this is like the best thing for traveling um i always use it for traveling so glad i got it i'm probably going to use it as my college backpack again that's why i got it originally and uh yeah i have some pins on the front actually which i think is fun these are all un pins i haven't put any of my other pins on but i have my sustainable development goal pin i have my peace and war but it's like it's a really pretty piece of artwork i'll show you a close-up actually um i got my friend a t-shirt with it and i think someone else i know got a poster of it it's a really pretty piece of artwork from the un um it's like the a is being carried from war to peace and then i also have a little united nations flag so i have like one that says yay and one that says or it's like my university's crest and stuff so i'm gonna add those ones but yeah i also have a hair clip because again it's me and i have a lot of hair so I need a lot of hair clips. So those are my July favorites. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions about anything, ask them down below. Definitely follow me on Instagram at anime.yt and subscribe to our channel to see more.